Today I got my wife's Chrysler Town & Country, it's a 2014. Uh, we're able to get into the vehicle from the outside handle. The inside handle will not let her open the door. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that problem today. I'm gonna show you how to take the front panel of the door off, the tools you'll need to do it, and uh, hopefully this helps someone out. So if you guys like the videos and you wanna see more, hit thumbs up. If you don't like them, hit the thumbs down, hit the comment section up, tell me what you like, don't like, or if there's something else you wanna see. And, uh, and I'll keep doing them. I'm having fun making them, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got the door open. There's uh, only a couple places you need to look to, to get the door taken off. There are two tools you're gonna need, a flathead screwdriver and a T20 Torx bit. Um, I have mine on an extender. It's kind of easy when you need to get into the door handle here. There's two places where you need to use the, the T20 and we'll use the flathead screwdriver. There's a panel underneath the handle that you just put the screwdriver in and pry that right up. And there's a second one right back here behind the door handle itself. And that pops right out. I have the T20 on my ratchet. I've got it on an extender. It makes it a little easier for getting in there. We'll go ahead and take these out. Then the only other thing we have left to do is to actually take the panel off. To take this panel off, uh, we'll need to remove this black piece up here. Uh, to do that, you can again just use the, the flathead screwdriver to peel this back. And it should just pop right off. And then you can pull it off by hand. There's only two spots where this makes a connection up top and on the bottom through the door. And that comes off real easy. So with that off, we basically just need to take our screwdriver back here and uh, follow it down the line. And you can kind of feel where some of those... Uh, We'll call them buttons for lack of a better word uh, the tabs that are back there that hold the door together and you can just apply some pressure and it'll pop right off once you got one you can get your hand back in there and just pull pretty hard and go all the way around the bottom and back up the other side and you can see that just kind of fell right off right there all right, so with the door panel off, there's a lot of electrical wires, and we're after the inside door handle, which is up here by my hand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect those wires, because without it, you can't really get enough slack to set this down and actually work with the door panel. Um, to do that, see if I can manage this one-handed. Grab on the, the back side of each of these little electrical boxes. Uh, it could be on the side or behind it. There's a little tab that you can just press and slide these right out. So there's one. On this one, it's... It's on the side, not the back. So you'll feel around for it and be able to pull those out. And the third one down here. So now all we have left is the cable that, that controls the opening of the door. Uh, and now we can actually set this down and work with it a little bit easier. All right, so we got the door part. We got the wires off. We're able to sit down and, and work with two hands now. I've got the replacement door handle here. Um, I had to order this from the local auto parts store. They didn't have it in stock, so I would try to call ahead for something like this. Um, but usually they can get it to the store within a day or two, uh, depending on how close they are to their warehouse. Um, they just want to make sure you're going to come pick it up. So pick that up for about 30, 35 bucks, somewhere in that range. All we got to do, looks like there's only a couple spots for screws here. Um, these are the T20 Torx again, so the same bit, you don't need a different tool. And I only see two connections here for this, uh, handle piece on the inside. Our cables right here, we're going to need to pull that snap out and place that back in here. Set that up there. Two, and we'll see if those are it. And that's it, comes right out. So now we just got the replacement. Stick the handle through there and just line it all up. You do have a guide back here to help you line that up and seat that right back in place. All right, so we got our screws back in. We're gonna snap this back in place. Uh, what you can do is just drop that wire in, push those clips in. All right, with that back in place, we just need to pull on that wire enough. Drop that in. And we should be good to go. All right, first thing when you're putting this back on the doors, make sure you 
fits your door lock back through in the top left. That makes everything else a whole lot easier to line up. Once you get that top corner lined up, you should be able to just pop all those tabs right in place. All right, once you got that on and lined up, I'm gonna go around, you'll be able to look in the side. And once you get those lined up, just give it a good pop on all the corners. All right, got the last of the clips in, got them all nice and lined up. Uh, next is to put the corner piece back in. Now it sna snaps in nice and easy. That doesn't take much force at all. And then we just gotta get our two screws back in. One in the handle. And the other right up front. All right, put our clips back in place. Give it a shot and should have a happy mom. And it works. Today's video wasn't possible without my two helpers, my camera crew, Reed and Eli. Wave hi, guys.